All right, it's been a little while since I posted something. So back on the Trans Am, I was having all kinds of problems with it. And when I say I was having problems with it, it was loading up with gas and it literally blew this muffler apart. There's The muffler is completely blown apart. I don't know if I showed that in one of my other videos or not. Um, when I get it up here in the air later, I'll go ahead and show you that muffler now, what it looks like, because it blew up on me here in the garage after I got my heads back. I put this all together, and I thought I had it dialed in. It was sounding good, and I came out the next day, started up, and that's when the muffler blew apart, and it loaded up with gas again. And for life of me, I couldn't figure it out, and I still haven't actually figured it out. So... A friend of mine reached out to me and said, hey, why don't you get rid of them damn point system and put an HEI in there? He said it would be so much better. And I was thinking about it, and I thought, you know, I'm going to go check this timing and see if it's jumping around or not. And I got timing light out and put on there, and my light would stop. It would sit there and flash 10 times in a row and then stop, and you hear the car lose a cylinder and then it come back on and it kept doing that i would lose my spark so i was losing spark somewhere so i thought well it's the coil well i tried another coil same thing i put my third coil on there same thing all right i grabbed a different points distributor and put in there same thing went ahead and got a different set of points put in there same thing i was like there's no way you know maybe it has something to do with the starter and the solenoid so I got a mini high, high torque starter and I got an HEI system. I tore the coil, the distributor, the point, the starter with the, that crappy solenoid that has to feed the point or the coil. I just pulled everything out. And I went with a friend's advice and I found a used HEI on Facebook Marketplace. A guy pulled it out of his um, Le Mans because he's going to sniper and he's doing all kinds of crazy, crazy stuff. So I bought the system from him and I put it in here and I set the timing mark to where I thought it was to get me started. And I hit the key and this thing fired right off. I thought, wow, it must have been that. So I set my timing, got it where I want it. By the way, I'm at 10. And it seems to really like it. It really, really likes it. So I think I've got that problem situated. When well, getting that done, I developed the water leak. And I thought for sure it was my timing chain cover. And I didn't want to pull the front apart. And I'm searching and searching and searching. And I found out it's my thermostat housing. At least that's what I thought. So I took that all apart, put it back on there. And it was leaking like crazy still. And I finally kept looking at it, looking at it, looking at it. I thought, well, maybe my intake's leaking. Well, right here, with the timing chain cover and the intake meat, it was pouring out of there. Just pouring out of there. So I had to take the whole top back apart. So the alternator, intake, carb, all that stuff had to come back off. So then I had to replace all the gaskets again. And that seal, by the way, was destroyed. I mean, it was no way I put that in there right. It was rolled over, busted up, and destroyed. So I was driving it, took it down the road and back, which is only like a quarter of a mile. So the water leak seems to be taken care of now. My timing seems to be on the money. But now I've got an air pocket down in there so now i gotta work the air pocket out there's something in there that an air bubble that just doesn't want to come out of this car so i'll have to keep working at that and try to get that out of there but in the meantime i'm working on this air air breather when this when i put this on here and put my scoop on there and drive it down the road this thing wants to turn there's just i could put a hose on here and it'll still turn it turns I was like, this is crazy. What am I going to do? Tighten it down as tight as I can. It's still good. 
So I decided I was going to put these L brackets on here. And they're going to bolt right to the manifold. I'm putting one here, and I'm putting one up here. See the holes? I'm going to drill those here in a little bit. But I think this will keep this air breather from spinning, and that will make my shaker stay square or centered in the hole instead of bouncing around like it is now. And that's where I'm going to go with that. I'll get this taken care of. On yeah, these I'm brackets I'm making, all I'm doing is taking flat stock, drilling a hole in it, and then a couple holes for the rivets, bending it at 90 degrees so I can attach it. And it's just bare metal. So I went ahead and sandblasted it and just put a clear coat on it. Hopefully the clear coat will keep it from rusting or even down the road I can mask off the air breather a little bit and just re-clear coat them and that should be okay. But yeah, that's what they're doing. I'm gonna build them, get it on there and keep that thing from twisting. Then I'm gonna work on that muffler, try to get that swapped out, get that where it needs to go. And I've had people, friends, family, Go, why do you work on these things? I love working on cars. It's just the way it is. And when you restore a car, like to the extreme that I did this one, if you followed along with my videos from day one years ago to now and followed each one, I put a lot of work into this car. Lots and lots of work. Everything was torn apart. Every bolt, nut. I mean, I had to refurbish so much stuff and buy so much stuff. The car is dirty right now and needs cleaned up. But you got to understand, when you do these cars, you've got to do a shakedown. You've got to take them out, drive them, fix what's, what you didn't get right or what isn't right. You fix that. Then you go again. And then you fix that. And that's just the way it's going to be when you do one of these cars. You have got to keep tracking down all your little bugs and fixing them. It's just the way it is. You know, and that's what I'm doing. I'm just tracking down bugs. It shouldn't take long, and I should have all this stuff worked out. And this car should be a beast. It really, really should be a beast. You know, the clutch isn't adjusted, as I found out as I took it down the road. It's, it's close. It's real close. It really is. And stuff, but I've done some touch-up, oiled up the hinges, door hinges, because those things were squeaking like crazy. And I had a list. I still have to put the rearview mirror on. I've tried putting that thing on twice now and it's fallen off every time. Um, I don't know if Permatex is crap when it comes to putting those mirrors on it. Maybe I should try a different brand. But I'm gonna give it a third shot. I figured when I was doing it before, it was kind of cold. Maybe the glue wasn't sticking. So I'm gonna try it when it gets warm and it's definitely been warm. So right now, like I say, I'm gonna get these uh, L brackets installed and try to get this air breather and stuff buttoned up. Then I'm going to work on purging that air, getting that muffler done. I plan on going to a car show this coming weekend. Uh, I think it's the 6th. Yeah, the 6th. So I had to pull one of the cars in so I can get it cleaned up. Uh, my wife wants to take the Buick, and she's going to drive it in by herself, but I got to get cleaned up. It is filthy dirty. And I'm going to drive my Oldsmobile. I told her she could take this one. I'll take the Oldsmobile. Yeah, I'll get this cleaned up too, and I'm sure I'll post some video of the car show when we get there this weekend, what's there and stuff. Get this clean, but hey, my car's coming along, and every time I drive it, I'm amazed. This thing is a beast. I'm not kidding you. It is fast. Right now, it is really, really loud. I should start it up for you and let you listen to how loud this thing really is with the muffler blown out, and you would be like amazed <laughs> how loud it is. But hey, back in a sec. And that's what it looks like with the brackets on it. Some will say, oh, that's ugly, and others are gonna say, hey, that's a pretty good idea. Uh, this thing don't move. It don't move at all anymore. So now I put my shaker on there, my shaker will stay straight just the way it's supposed to. I'm gonna let you hear what this sounds like with the muffler blown out. Then I'll put it up in the air and I'll uh, show you what the muffler looks like.
<laughs> Maybe it sounds like a race car to some people. Nice, huh? Yeah, I'll put this up in the air and show you what the uh, muffler looks like. I don't have a choke on my carburetor, so I got to keep feathering the accelerator since it's kind of still a little cold. But uh, yeah, I'll show you this muffler. Okay. Okay, let's take a look at this muffler. <laughs> you, you guys are going to be shocked, I'm telling you. What do you think? Pretty cool, huh? Blew that out right up against the gas tank. If you ever wonder what's inside a muffler, there you go. But we have a new muffler for this, so let's try to get this let's try to get this one down and get the new one up. It's gonna take a little while later. Well, old muffler's down after beating, cutting, chiseling, sawing. Finally got that damn thing off. My other pipes. I still got a big hunk left on there that pulled out of the muffler. So I've got to get that knocked off there before I can put it back up. Yeah, fun, fun. But there's the new one. Waiting to go up. See the black? It was very, very rich. Lots of gas. Boom, right? You see where the muffler hit the sway bar even when it blew up. It didn't do anything to the gas tank, thank goodness. So, next thing is get this up there. Getting closer. Well, new muffler's up. All put back in. I don't know if I get all the clamps and stuff back where they belong, but that's where they're going. Just have to wait and get it on the ground and see what it sounds like. Hopefully that's the last muffler I gotta buy for this car. Uh, back in a second. Okay, exhaust is on, hooked up. Let's see how bad it sounds. Well guys, I took it off the lift, took it down the road. I gotta tell you, I'm pretty happy now. The clutch still needs adjusted. The uh, air pocket I had, it cleared. Radiator's working great now, cooling. 
I just show you. I've got some little paint touch-ups here and there I gotta go back and get. I think my idle's a little low yet, but I kinda like it. I kinda like that. I might bring it up a little. So I think I'm ready. I'm ready for some cruising. Get that clutch adjusted. Do these paint touch-ups. And yeah, my list is done for now. We all know they're not always done. <laughs> but yeah. Progress finally. Finally. Hey, if you've been enjoying my videos, please like and subscribe. You know, subscribing doesn't cost you anything. You just get a little notification on the side. You don't even have to go and look if you don't want to, but I'd appreciate it. Uh, thanks for watching my videos. Later.